Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how to uh, uh, add and subtract um, fractions. We all probably learned it in elementary school, but by the time you go up and start pre-algebra in high school or college, you probably forgot about it by then. So I'm just going to re-show on how to do those. So I'm going to start with uh, this one as an example. And one thing about adding and subtracting fractions is that you always have to have the same bottom basis. You can you can have different ones if you're multiplying it, like if we were just multiplying this, that would be easy, but when you're adding them, you have to have the same base. Now to uh, find that base, sometimes you have to just multiply them if you get confused, you know, you're not sure what the lowest number they go into, or you can try and find the lowest number that they go into without having to multiply them. This one, for example, they're pretty low numbers, by the time you go up to the next one, six, you're already multiplying them. So we multiply these two numbers to find a like base, and it happens to be 6. Now, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Now, I found that when I learned, a way that it's better for me to learn is if I understand and know why I'm doing it, not just memorize it. So the reason why you're multiplying the bottom, whatever you multiply the bottom by, you have to do the same thing to the top. The reason why you're doing that is because when you do that, so let's say, for example, we said our common number is 6. So I have to multiply this one to get 6 by 2. So I have to do times 2, and I have to do it to the top as well. Over here, I have to multiply by 3. And up here, I have to multiply by 3. So why am I doing top and bottom by that? Is because you have to have a common bottom base. And whenever you do that, the reason why you do it to a top is because you're making the fraction the same. So if I'm multiplying it by 2 over 2, that's the same thing as 1 over 1, which is 1. Same with over here. 3 over 3 is 1. So taking this fraction, it's still, and you get a new one, it's still the same ratio. It's just different numbers. Just like, essentially, 50 one hundredths is still the same as 1 half, as 5 tenths is still the same as 1 half. You're just doing it in a different way so that you can do it easier or in this case so that we can add them. So to show you what I mean, so now this whole equation now turns into 3 times 1 is 3 and then 3 times 2 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4 and now on the bottom 3 times 2 is 6. So now I get a new one. I have the same like bases now I can add them. But if you look at this, if we go in reverse, you can reduce 3 6 to 1 half and you can just reduce 4 6 to 2 thirds so it's still the same exact thing so that's just one thing to just so you know why you're doing this you're multiplying it by 1 you're just making this same ratio bigger like I said 5 uh, 5 tenths is the same thing as 1 half it's just a way to work with it so once you get like bases you then just simply add them on the, you add them across that way, and you, when you add them, you always leave the bottom the same. So we know right away it's, the answer is over 6, and 3 plus 4 is 7, and that's your answer, 7, 6. So now I'll move on to uh, this one, and so this one we have to find the like common denominator. So we could multiply them, or we could just look at which one of the first numbers that they can both go into, and it's going to be 20 because 4 doesn't go into 10, 15, or 5, and it goes into 20, which is the same as multiplying it anyway. So we know our bottom is uh, common denominator is uh, going to be 20. So how do we get that? And this one, 5 times uh, 4 is 20. So I have to multiply the bottom by 4 and the top by 4. And this one's the opposite. I have to multiply by 5, so I do the same to the top and bottom. And uh, like I was saying over here, again, 5 over 5 is 1 and 4 over 4 is 1. So you're just, it's going to be the same fractions, that the, the, the value is going to be the same. It's just essentially different fractions. So 5 times 1 is 5. And that's going to be over 20. Plus 20 again, as we already know that. And 2 times uh, 4 is 8. So now we get 20. And uh, 5 plus 8 is 13. And that's your answer. Then we go on to this one. 
Uh, in this case, to uh, get the same like, it's actually, we don't have to multiply them. We can if we want, but it's actually easier by making our like bases 6. So, uh, since 6 is going to be our 1, because 3 goes into 6, and six, this one already has 6 as a bottom, so you can actually leave that one alone. And multiply this one, so 3 goes into 6, 2, so we multiply by 2 to the top and bottom. And the reason why is this is working by only doing it to one side is because, again, you're multiplying just this side by 1. So this side is still the same value as 2 thirds. So we go across, so 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6, and we leave that one the same. So again, 4 6 is the same thing as 2 thirds, so this is still the same ratio to each other. And now again, add them, and we get 4 plus... Uh, 4 plus 1 is 5, and the same like bottom number, and the answer is 5, 6. Then we go on to this one. Uh, this one is actually now one where we don't have to multiply them. We could. We can get 6 times 4 is 24, but again, that's a higher number. But we can actually find a number that these both go into, which is 12. So 12 is going to be their lowest common denominator, that the number that they both go into. So what gives us both of that numbers? So well, to get to 12, we get 6 is times 2. We do that to the top, and for this one is 3, so we do it times 3. And now we again bring those down. So 3 times 1 is 3, and our denominator was 12, plus 2 times 2 is 4, and again 12. And now again you add them. The bottom number is going to be the same. 3 plus 4 is 7, and that's our answer, 7 twelfths. So that's pretty much how you add and subtract fractions. Uh, subtraction is the same, just obviously subtracting them. I know it's all minor additions, but it's the same exact thing. So the main point is just that you have to get like common denominators. And when you're multiplying them by these, you're just, again, you're making the ratio is the same. It's still 1 to 1. 2 over 2 is 1. 3 over 3 is 1. And uh, two, like 3 over 3 and 5 over 5. That's all 1. It's just making, it's the same ratio. It's just bigger numbers. Hope that helps and thanks for watching.